Today I'm gonna to show you how to use Google Docs like a pro. There's a bunch of shortcuts you're probably not using that you should in this five minute or less video. I'm gonna show you the hacks so that you can actually get a bunch of shit more done with Google Docs. Number one, this is my agenda with David. There's colors and stuff. This is our live one, what we do every week. A lot of times you might wanna assign something to someone. So here's exactly what you do. You highlight some piece of text. You're gonna do Option Command M and you can comment on anything. What Option Command M? Yo dog, double check this. So if you wanna do some special bonus thing, what I actually recommend is you can assign tasks in Google Docs. So if you do at and then the person's email, so let's say it's Brandon who makes all these gorgeous videos. What up Brandon? You need to do this, ha uh, it's a test. And then you can assign it to him so he can actually get this as an email and then come mark it off. Instead of having to do to-dos and check-ins, we actually find this really helpful in our weekly syncs within Sumo Group. All right, number of dose. Let's say you wanna leave, uh, make something a link to anything you wanna do within the Google Doc. A lot of times, if you're actually using your mouse, and make sure you speed up your track mouse speed, you know what I'm talking about, speed that mouse speed up. But a lot of times, if you wanna make a link, people go and they do, uh, 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 fuck that, I hate when people do that. And then you go to insert and do link, or you go over here, this is the link one, and you link it, and, which sucks and takes forever. Here's what I'm gonna tell you to do. Hit command, yep, look for it, bottom left command, and then K. Now you can just put a link, make that kingsumo.com. Let's go do that, done. Uh, a lot of times it'll also show you. So command K is gonna give you links to things. Number four, a lot of times we have things that we're doing in the past. So Noah is gonna make a video. All right, let's go see if Noah made a video. Google Docs video. So shift command is gonna be able to do the whole, highlight the whole thing. Let's do that again, shift command and then right key. So now I commanded it. I wanna do a strike through. So a strike through is gonna be command shift X. So I really find that helpful as you're doing to-dos, you're going through your meetings. Let me show you that again. Command Shift X, bam! Mark shit off, Command Shift X, <laughs> that's how you're gonna do it. This next one is one of these things that like, I'm still, every time I see it, I'm like, damn, that's sexy. And I always forget to do it, but I always love when I see it. So you're gonna do Control, Command, A, H. What? What's actually happening? is that it creates an automatic outline. So if you actually create sections in your thing, it's really helpful as your doc get really long or maybe you're working on an article or a book. Uh, it makes it super easy for you to actually go to any section you want. Uh, this is a Google Docs thing, one I really, really like. If you do sections like we have it here, it makes it easy to go to whatever ones you want. That is gonna be Control Command A H. Number six, a lot of you guys recommended this. I asked you for comments. If you have other ones I'm missing, leave it below. Maybe in the next video, I'll do Google Docs or Google Spreadsheets or another video of a how-to because I love making these for you, is the face clicking thing. The face clicking thing is if you're doing multiple edits with the person uh, and maybe you're zoning out, you ever have that or maybe you're zoning out on this video, click on this person's face and it'll take you to where their mouse is. So let's say my mouse is uh, down here at the bottom. Uh, that's another screen. Let's pretend that's Noah's other mouse. You come click here, bam, it takes you right to where I am. So if you're zoning out, this is the way to fix your zone out. I really like that one. Oh, this is a good one. So a lot of times if you're trying to find something, you guys already know, what is to find something? Apple F, right, or Command F, whatever keyboard you're using. Then you could find something. So let's say you wanna find the word Noah, right? There's six times. Then if you wanna replace it, more options, then you have to replace all. The shit's, it took me a long time. So here's what I found that I really like. Shift Apple H will take you to find and replace right away. So instead of actually having to go Command F, type them in, find the thing, the less clicks and the less times you move your mouse, the more time you save, the more shit you're gonna get done. So let's gonna do that one more time. Shift Command H. All right, number eight. This is an Anton Sepetov, my Russian comrade, one of my tightest homies, special. So let's say you copy this and it's all, it's all formatted all funky. So when you paste it, it's gonna paste all formatted all funky. But let's say you don't wanna do that. You're like, nah, bro, I don't wanna do that. I'm not trying to paste all this funky shit. So what you do, and I use this all the time. Thank you, Anton. You basically do Shift Command V and it'll paste it without formatting. So let's say you're copying something from Word or a website, it's got a bunch of colors, a bunch of weird ass formatting. What you're gonna do again is Shift Command V and it pastes it without any formatting. You can also do that uh, by right clicking and then you paste without formatting, with the, which is Shift Command V. Number nine, this is another huge time saver that you're probably not realizing how much time you waste doing this. And I know this seems really trivial, but to me, it's like if you're wasting 10 seconds a day and you can add that up throughout your year, through your life, through like your kids are gonna be like, yo dad, thanks for coming home for soccer. I know you're, you're not busy working on your Google Doc anymore. It's how to get to these menus without dragging your slow ass fucking mouse, speed up your mouse all the way up there. It's control option F. So it's basically, it'll bring you up here and instead of having to move your mouse, now you can easily go up there. 
right? So control option T is gonna take you to tools. Let's see what control option F does, right? That's gonna take you to the F1. So most importantly, this saves you time from having to move your mouse up there, and then you can just do N, O, R, and so forth. I'll show you the last one that I recommend. It really helps when I'm doing collaboration on these Google Docs. It's gonna be here in the top right. It's in the editing, suggesting, or viewing. A lot of times I'll just write suggestions because let's say you're editing a doc. I am a horrible writer. If you go to okdork.com, you'll see that it looks good, but it's because there's a lot of editing. Uh, sometimes with editing though, you're just trying to make changes, right? And then the other person may not know what you're doing. So I like going into suggestion mode and being like, actually, can you change this? Sorry, I like this better. And then this is a good way that the person can actually understand where you're coming from instead of just in the editing mode when you're making automatic changes. If you wanna see those changes over a long period of time, you can go to version history. I've actually used this a lot. So if you ever get a contract from someone, it's in Google Docs, you can actually see the original thing and what they've changed. So if you're ever trying to do that and make sure people don't see your original versions, you gotta make a new copy. Do that in spreadsheets or do that in Google Docs. So this is actually really helpful to go back and see all the older versions that you have with your Google Docs. But anyways, the point is using suggesting and editing. So those are a bunch of my tips. I'd love for you to leave a comment. Let me know what Google Doc tip uh, I missed out on that, that we should be doing and what other tool you wanna see me make a video about this. All right, kick some ass guys, love you.